Mr. Eggplant presents... Hey guys, Tyler here. Thanks for checking out this video. And first and foremost, I did want to just thank Sai for letting me join this group with him. Uh, this is a pug, so this is something that you don't normally see on the channel from me. Uh, you know, I have it as a marksman, being a marksman hunter, you guys know, uh, I have a hard time getting into I any sort of Mythic Plus like keys. Like, whenever, at my current IO and item players. level, I have trouble getting to 11s and 12s. Like, I'm not joking. Uh, yeah, it just kind of how it works, unfortunately, since uh, a vast majority of people look down on marksmen for low utility, low uh, movement, that sort of thing, which, you know, to an extent is true. Uh, but we were given the chance to come in here to this plus 16, and we did very well. Uh, so thanks again, Sai, for uh, carrying me no, with your 2K way, plus like, Raider IO to get into this less. group. Thanks and mind you, while I'm talking about Raider way. IO, uh, mine is uh, right, right around uh, 1600 or so. And keep in mind that is without no doing a Shrine of the Storm at that, uh, all. Uh, so it's the highest I've done seven, this expansion. Seven, uh, and we did like manage to tack on a few points on top of that plus 15 King's Rest we did last week. Uh, too bad this wasn't one that I hadn't done yet to, to check it off the list, but that's alright. We're 4 of 12 right now when it comes to timing a 15 or greater uh, in each of the Mythic Plus dungeons. Uh, so in this group, we were Druids Galore, uh, so I probably didn't really need to bring out my pet for the, for the Soothe that it normally brings, but I did that anyway, particularly when we get in between bosses 2 and 3, like I talked about in the last video. Uh, it has a good chance to soak the... Uh, the ability, the big dot, uh, that just completely decimates your tank, well, the pet can soak that, and then they take no damage. We didn't really have an issue with any of that uh, this entire run. It was a relatively clean run, especially for a pug. Uh, so like I said, we did have druids galore. We had one of each except for a kitty, and then, of course, we did have a rogue as well, and he was just doing some mad damage. Uh, 474 item level, oh, this yeah. guy was no, stacked, like, like he was doing some class. great damage, so kudos to him. Uh, he did uh, a really nice job rare, being the top DPS in our group. Stars. So as for this run itself, like I said, plus 16 King's Rest. The affixes are this current week's, which this should go up on Monday, so it still should be the current week, uh, which is going to be Fortified, Sanguine, uh, then we have uh, Grievous, which can be kind of annoying as you get to higher keys, but the healer did a great job, and Awaken. Uh, so another difference about this run versus any of my other runs, I am not the leader. Uh, so I'm not making calls, I do not control anything we do. Uh, so keep that in mind as you watch this video. Uh, but they obviously, we were in good hands. We knew exactly what we were doing as a group. And it was kind of refreshing, because usually when you think of pugs, you think of all the bad things that can happen, uh, which was really nice to be a part of. Uh, so for myself, since it's usually what you guys are checking out these videos for, and by the way, thank you for checking those out. Be sure to uh, subscribe to me here. Getting very close to 2,000. I think I'm like right at like 1960 or so. I'm so close. If you guys could get me over that hump, that would be amazing. And then leave me a comment in this video. Let me know oh, yeah, what you guys think one, I should do uh, for 2K subs. Because like I said, getting very the close. Anyway, I'm back to the video. Uh, my item level in this video is going to be 470. I finally got through the 460s. It took me a while, uh, but I oh, managed no, I to do that. So I have a 470 item level with a couple of low uh, Azerite pieces, so that's something that I can continue to work on. Just need to farm up the right piece from the Residium uh, vendor. You know how that goes though. You could do it. You could roll the dice, you know, ten times and never get the one you need, unfortunately. That's just kind of how Residium works, but we're going to continue to push <laughs> with what we have, right and we've been getting steadily better each week. Uh, so as for my build with my talents, it's the same old setup. Uh, the only thing I would change, like I said in the last couple of videos, is the Born to be Wild one, uh, where it lowers the cooldown of your turtle and lowers the cooldown of your cheetah by 20%. Uh, in this uh, run, we didn't really need uh, Post Haste, which, you know, when you disengage, it gives you that small uh, movement speed boost and, of course, gets you out of any roots. Didn't need to worry about that in here, so I probably should have ran with uh, the Born to be Wild. I didn't, but it did not hurt us at all, and we did just fine. Uh, and I'm running with the I Master Marksman uh, slash uh, Calling the Shots build, so we're continually whittling down the cooldown of our True Shot. Uh, I've said it in many, many of my videos in my guide. If you want to check that out, be that sure and do so. It's one of the highest uh, rated video videos and viewed videos on my channel, so thank you guys for that. Uh, it's 
kind of refreshing to see that I'm steadily getting better at knowing my class. So now it's time to reset that when we come to Shadowlands. Can't wait for that, but I'll be sure and make making videos in Shadowlands uh, as well. But the whole point of my build is to whittle down the cooldown of True Shot. Uh, so that's in every facet of my build, you're going to see that. And you're going to see True Shot be the most important thing, uh, whether it be with my Azurite traits. Uh, so first off, we're running with three in the rhythm. So that gives us a nice bit of haste when it when after we use our, our rapid fire. And then I have two uh, unerring vision, so it does stack up crit every second for 10 seconds and then holds at that amount uh, four or five seconds after that. It is an amazing cooldown is when you're going to see us do our burst. Uh, that's just going to be where we do our most damage. And as you watch this first fight here, uh, I go from like 40 some K to second place, like right behind the rogue, where I could have very easily beat him had I had maybe one or two more aim shots out during the entire fight. So we, if you time that right in that 80-20 zone, thanks to careful aim in our level 30 talents, uh, you will just do insane amounts of damage. Uh, so like I said, the, the oh, Azrite yeah, was important, that way your true shots are worth more because they're we'll doing more damage because you get that insane amount of us. crit, there's but there's also there's the there's cooldown there's starts at 2 minutes, and thanks to our uh, essences, uh, which the one of the miners I'm running with is Vision of Perfection, which lowers the cooldown of that by 25%. Uh, so that lowers it down to 90 seconds or 1 minute and 30 seconds. From there, uh, every time, thanks to Master Marksman and calling the shots, every time you cast your aim shot, which is what we do, it empowers your uh, arcane shot. And thanks to Master Marksman, that arcane shot is free. So it's doing more damage and it's free. And since we have calling the shots, it takes 2.5 seconds off the cooldown remaining of your true shot. All this is just synergizing perfectly to get as many true shots out as possible. And I'm, I've am i whittled it down now to be below a minute cooldown on my true shots, or just right at a minute. If I can get the bow off of Mythic Skitra that will lower a random cooldown, uh, random hunter cooldown every time I use auto shot uh, by two seconds, some of those are bound to go out onto my true shot because it will be on cooldown almost you know the entire time because I don't want to hold it too long uh, so I can you know equate maybe like person. three to five seconds off on average I if I'm murder. just speculating uh, as to where we can just get these true shots out and they're just going to be pounding the boss and we're going to be getting them up like that and like that is super exciting uh, as for the other uh, essences I am still running with Mean Beam as my major minor uh, it's great. I, I don't use it to bolster things if that's going on. I don't use it, uh, you know, inappropriately. There, you know, you don't want to get bursting stacks to kill the group. That sort of thing. You can use it in any situation. And the minor version where it gives you the the stacking haste as long as you continue to attack the same target is amazing. It's great on single target. In fact, I use it as my one of my miners in my single single target build when I run with condensed life form life force I should say uh, as my major. Uh, the other miners I do use is Breath of the Dying because it is amazing, it does so much damage, such a, a vital part of our build. If you are boosting or leveling a hunter and you're Your trying to figure like, out what essences you need to pick first, definitely pick that one because even as the major it's pretty good as well as long as you can you know, use it on cooldown and take advantage of the lowered cooldown when you use it in the 80-20 zone. And also the condensed life force miner right. is really good because it just does a bit of damage and it does increase your damage on the target by 3% whenever the Azerite uh, ability hits. Uh, it's so nice and it pops up more often than you think. Uh, as for my corruption, I only running 19 corruption in this video so I'm not I have a lot of room to grow for corruption I'm just waiting for some good ones and waiting for that uh, mythic bow off of Skitra uh, I'm eagerly awaiting cross realm for mythics because I know, or mythic raid I should say because I know a couple of friends that would be willing to help uh, Marksman Hunter out and bring me in for their runs. Uh, they're just basically disenchanting the bows when it drops. I would really love the opportunity to get in there and get that bow in my hands to see what we can really do uh, with that. And, and then also, uh, the corruptions I am running with, I have one of my uh, infinite stars on my belt that's ranked 2. Then I have 12% uh, increased haste on one ring and then 9% increased mastery on another so those just synergize well with our build 
uh, as a whole. And then my back piece is of course uh, rank 15 with plus 6 corruption resistance. Which will soon be plus 9 uh, starting next week. So as for consumables, I, again, I said in the last video, I don't really use them too much right now. I don't really pre-pot or anything either. If I'm really going to start pushing keys, I need to do that. I would use my those Unbridled Furies that you get. Uh, they are so nice. and just collect a bunch of Xenthanid and make a bunch of those. And then as for food, I wouldn't go for the main stat food anymore, even though you see uh, Boralus Blood Sausages down there on my bar. Uh, I would go with either versatility food or mastery food because you're going to gain oh, yeah. more out of one of those uh, versus your main stat. And then of course you want to run with some abyssal uh, healing really potions uh, should you need that. So this was a great run. Like I said, I have no control over how we pull. I was just the yep. one with, that lusted at the appropriate times and brought the damage. Uh, and then we ended up like in second place in the entire group. All three DPS were over 60k for the entire run. Uh, so it was a, a recipe for success, and I'm proud to say that we finally timed something higher than a 15. I was never expecting that, and yet here we are. Uh, so I think that's all I've really got to talk about, but uh, you know, be sure and check me out over on Twitch. I'm doing my best uh, to, to put some sort of streaming out there while I'm kind of out of a job so right now. Uh, my, I've been trying to do vintage video games, and I keep saying I'm going to do it at on Sundays and Thursdays and then it doesn't work for one reason or another so I'm working my tail off I'm trying to do something cool for you guys uh, just something fun for me and you know, I can connect with you guys oh, yeah, on a, sure. a more of, less of a wow no, level and more of a, just a gamer level in general uh, but if you guys have any questions on anything I do please leave me a comment on a video I respond to them I respond to every single one of them I read them all good bad and otherwise please be nice to me as much as possible I'm just a lowly marksman hunter after all <laughs> Anyway, so thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And until my next live streaming video, I'll see you later. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I can go ahead and use it. I shouldn't have used it. Everybody's using it, apparently. What? I might cool down. Oh. Is everything lined up for me right now? I had a pro I had arcanic pulsar as well. I just had a vision proc. Oh dang! Forty second, fifty second alignment right now. Carry me to greatness. I'm doing it. I'm rising right now. <laughs> I'm falling again because I'm out of it. But you know, effort was there. Skip with it. But I, but I, I guess that, that. Mean, that means you can't uh, use the the cut or the shortcut if you die. Yeah. I always thought that shortcut activated no matter what. Honestly. Nope. So it, it will not show up if you haven't killed this guy. Because we've killed keys because of it. Because we didn't know that. How did I get to hit by that? You're bad. He got hit by one thing. Man. You're bad. You should feel bad. <laughs> You're bad. You gotta. You gotta. Beware. Yep. Well, what in the world was that turn? See if I live. Heal me. <sighs> Here we go. I want to see it. Right now, boys, we are rising to the occasion. Meow, meow. The problem is. In this room, I literally don't cast a spell. I just cast Moonfire and Son of a. <laughs> I need to 
Yeah, once my true shot's gone, I don't really have. I can't really do too much. There we go. Yeah, because otherwise it's not. I'll, I'll get full stacks. If I. Uh, especially with a pull that big, I'll get full stacks. If I stop after true shot. To try to cast. Targets? You can really you can rise. Wait, what do I do? We, uh, we had a uh, we had met another good marksman hunter one time, right? We were pugging a key, mm -hmm. and um, after the key, we all go, "Oh wow, he's marksman!" I didn't even realize. <laughs> he goes, "That we go, oh wow, you're a marksman. You're pretty good. You want to stay for the next one?" He's like, "No one's ever asked me that." Sure. What? <laughs> Two, Should be one. Yeah. If you have it for sure. I thought using pets was a downside for yours. That only back in Legion. It is, but it's not a big deal. Uh, on Sanguine Reap or on uh, Grievous Weeks, it just helps your healer. Ah, uh, okay, so it's not even that much of a DPS loss to... 6% uh, difference, which isn't terrible. Bottom off. So it's... Huh. It's not a terrible thing. Is it a DPS loss? Yes. But does it bring more to the group? Yes. The trade-off is valuable. Yeah. Especially and with the cooldown that I lose is a three-minute cooldown that st stops all damage by twenty percent. Like it this lasts for six seconds. It's not that big of a deal. He didn't hit me with draining fluids once. Sad, because I can cheese that. You can cheese that. everything. Yeah, heck yeah, I can. Oh, baby, yes. I get wrecked to the. You can't cheese that now. Too bad we're killing you back then. Uh -huh. <laughs> See, on fights where I can burst at the beginning, like you guys were kicking my ass. But if I can, <laughs> if I can, and get to like thirty percent health and have my true shot come back up, you just saw I went up twenty k. Mm-hmm. It's uh. You have an execute, don't you? What is it? Steady, steady shot? Uh, I have an 80-20 zone. Yeah, careful aim. Careful aim was the one I was thinking of, not steady yeah. shot. That's alright. Like, I loved... And I then, loved the artifact ability, and I loved how Marksman was in Legion. Mm -hmm. And then also, on this, if you run with a pet as a Marksman Hunter, it saves your healer so much mana. Because... Your pet can sometimes soak the 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 nasty dot. Yeah, like you just did there. Yep. I require a target. And so all it takes is, you know, for me to res my pet, this which is, is nothing. And it, like, this it's, man it's notable this. noticeable for sure. Oh yeah. No the dreaded two targets. Your worst enemy. Yep. I mean, don't feel bad. I have to have ten targets to even cast Starfall. <laughs> That's crazy to think. Oh, she hit me with that. 
Yeah, you were close. Yeah, I was. I got a heal. I got a heal point. I thought I would be farther away. Think again. <laughs> Ooh, nice dodge. Big dodge. So y'all finally killed Heroic Nazoth yet over there in Drexid, or? Oh yeah. We we killed it like a week behind you guys. It's not bad. Yeah. Uh, well, so it's been a, it was a weird tier, so I moved in the middle of it to where I missed majority of raids, and when I moved where I could raid, I couldn't make Wednesdays. So we were continuing to clear normal. Um, oh yes, growths. Uh. So... Um, yeah, I love it, right? I was missing progression days, so they they were five of five of twelve or however many bosses are in the raid, about twelve I think. Yeah. And uh, in the two weeks that I was there after that, with the stable internet connection, we got all seven. <laughs> it was crazy. Like. Uh, the last raid night, we got Rod in, Carapace, and Azoth, and we're like, uh, now what? Now what do we do? Mm -hmm. What do we do with our hands? And this was actually the fastest we'd ever killed it, uh, which was week seven. There you go. It's not bad. We normally come in at around uh, nine or ten. I think nine all expansion long, but... Last, uh, last expansion was like 10 or 11. Which, I mean, we don't do mythic, so Three, it doesn't really matter. Two, one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Beware. I'll tell you if it's on you, so you can pop turtle. Beware. Nope, not you, you're good. Beware. Hate it when we get her first, because we have to deal with her nonsense the whole time. Beware. Oh, great. Oh, no. <laughs> no it's, pro it's probably better if that would have happened. The pixel I saw that like 6k health. 16. Oh, thanks for the <laughs> thanks for the hype up. There you go. Beware. I won't lie, my butthole puckered for you, so. <laughs> Explosives near me. I got it. Walked right into that like an idiot. I require a target. What is it? They didn't go out. All that is a win. Will they dodge it? Come on, big dodge. Oh, you got a big dodge.
I'll solo. I'll solo. I think they realize. Okay, good. They realize that now. Nope, they didn't. They don't realize. But, okay. That's why I popped it early. <laughs> but they see the big green, like, you know, walking around, like, oh, he's gonna solo. Nah. Well, okay. Say I don't know where to go. I do like it that they have a an add on that says that they're going in, or just like a little macro. I don't know how many times a DPS will just like walk up instead. Uh, yeah. And then they get slapped and they're like, What the heck? What in the world? Mm hmm. Why did it do this? Well, why do? <laughs> this the part where we dance and get gear? Hopefully. I think what the guy's gonna do is we're gonna go to middle. Exit, kill the three. Get out slow. Need to target something first. I require a target. No, oh, I can't believe I got ticked by that. So dumb. That's tough. He really dropped it. He boss is going to be Zool. Oh yeah. Is he taking him down the bridge? Come on, he takes him down the bridge, he's good to go. Keep pulling another bridge, keep pulling another bridge. Keep, keep, keep. Okay, we are safe, I think. Yeah, we are good. Uh oh, that's tough. Okay, I'm sorry for that. There's nothing I can do there. Yeah, it'd probably be safe, it's just a lust on him. On Zul. So I don't know what trinkets this guy has. Yeah, go ahead and lust on him, because he won't have the trinkets to sustain himself. I do not have a target. Rip. Yeah, 11 million. Oh, here, buddy. Oh, oh he's right now the druid again. Two, one. He melts. He's gone. He's.
He melted. He did. He died pretty. I mean, just as lust ended, I think. Mm -hmm. It was literally like 40, 36 seconds. So you're the only one in the yield that actually tries to get 15s done? Yep. Yeah. That's tough. Uh, well, uh, no, that, that's not fair of me to say. They, they've been doing, they've been doing well. We, we've got four of them at 15s together this season, so I can't, I can't say that. <laughs> not too bad. But I have definitely been pushing them to do so. Yeah, we now have a Mythic Plus officer that arranges keys every Sunday night. We at least try to get people a 14 if not a 15. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with every uh, week I try to get better. Like, not the best, but I'm just trying to continue to get better. I mean, that's the goal, right? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Beware. Oh shit, I can't believe I got hit by that. So dumb, it's right in my face too. Beware. Oh boy. A fun fact, if you uh, disengage right at like 0.2, 0.5 yeah, seconds was, or so. I was feared. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, otherwise you take next to no damage. Yeah, I was like, oh god, that's a wicked combo. Beware. Winnable. <laughs> Winnable. Didn't go. I just like jump backwards like a boss. I don't need no cooldowns. God, don't let me die. Oh, you're okay. <laughs> I'm just joking. Wow. All right, the druid just repaid his favor, and now he's asking for another. <laughs> what does he want? Oh, the the vision thing. There you go, nice plumage. For the sake of Zandalar, and for your kingdoms as well, you must stop him. <laughs> Thanks for letting an MM come to the group. 